me rising every day. What's going on, beautiful bees? I hope you guys are all doing well. Thought I would share with you another what I've been up to, what I've been eating, all healthy foods, getting back into the swing of things, and what I've really been enjoying starting my day off with is chamomile tea. We've got the the peace mug here. This just this cup just landed on my desk one day. <laughs> don't know who where I don't even know who it's from, but um it's one of my favorite cups. But yeah, I really enjoy drinking chamomile tea. I've actually been enjoying starting my day and ending it. Ending my day with the chamomile tea. It's so good. And then I have my usual fruit for breakfast. So I got some mandarin oranges, the usual grapes. Uh, so I usually try to get the fruit in first thing in the morning. It makes me feel so good. It's so hydrating. Actually, I like to always start my day off reading positive affirmations. You know, it just starts my day with a positive mind frame. Super important. And then I like to get a smoothie in. I can pack a lot of nutrition in the smoothies and then I can get my workouts in because it also, you know, makes me focus on my breathing and getting a lot of oxygen in. Super good for you, super healthy for you. And then I like to go for a bike ride and get my cardio in. And so you guys will see some of that. But uh, first I will, I'll show you what I put in my smoothies and then we'll go for a bike ride and get out and enjoy the day, enjoy nature. We got the leafy greens. Really love getting my leafy greens in. It's a mix of leafy greens. I got my powerful antioxidant berries here and some ripe bananas. I'm experimenting with using some pea protein powder. I actually feel pretty good after it, so um, I've been including just a little bit of that. And I add in some pumpkin seed butter. And this I just actually introduced, wheatgrass juice powder, which is excellent source of iron, B vitamins, A, chlorophyll. Uh, so yeah, I've been introducing this. Same with amla berry powder. Again, excellent source of vitamin A and C. Um, super powerful berry right there. And some hemp hearts. So really, just the hemp hearts alone are your really a good source of amino acids. And lots of minerals in there as well. Especially magnesium. Right? Iron. So, manganese, zinc. So, that's really, really good. Especially for viruses. So, I'm going to blend this up, put it in my body, and we're going to hit the trails. Let's do this. We are here in nature. The trails are perfect. They're so well packed. It's just a beautiful day, perfect weather, and we got some frost on the trees. So we got up early enough to catch the frost on the trees. It's so beautiful. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go for a bike ride. Sometimes I go longer than usual. So if I do go longer than usual, I bring these Lara bars with me. And these are uh, full of dates and almonds, uh, whole ingredients so they're just a good energy source or fruit uh, is what I bring and uh, yeah we're just gonna go enjoy the day and you'll see some of my work out here I'll insert a song my brother made so I hope you guys enjoy that present but how caught between these frames it's just a fleeting moment like a melody in some refrain 
I'm traveling through these waves, replaying my history, forecasting my future in technicolor dreams. Well, do you even realize this cage is space and time? And is there even free will or just a clock left to unwind? And do you even realize this is a cage of space and time? And is there even free will or just a clock left to unwind? A clock left to unwind. This next recipe you'll find in my Healthy Recipes for Life ebook, now on sale. Lots of great recipes in here. And this one is on page 13. It's the berry waffles with the very berry sauce. It doesn't get any berry, berrier than this. <laughs> Let's get into it. I would say the first thing to do for these waffles is to get your berries out. Now, I really kind of just eyeball this recipe now, uh, but I got about, I would say, two and a half cups of mixed berries here. We got blackberries, strawberries, wild berries, blueberries, and what I do is I take half a lemon. This is going to bring out the flavor of the berries. So we wanna squeeze that lemon juice on there, like so. You can add as much lemon as you like. And then I add about half a cup of maple, 100% maple syrup. Again, I just eyeball this, just cause I've done this recipe so many times. And even if it's a bit liquidy, that's okay, cause it'll add to the sauce. Now, if you want your sauce to thicken, you can add a bit of cornstarch or arrowroot powder. That will thicken the sauce up. And uh, you'll wanna add you know, a little bit of water with that and then mix it. Um, so we're going to put this on the stove. We're gonna put it on high heat. Uh, we're gonna add just a little bit of water in there and we're gonna bring it to a boil and then let it simmer. And you wanna mix it as you go. Um, this is gonna create a nice berry sauce. And so, yeah, we're gonna put it on high. So we'll get that going. I'll add a little bit of water in there too, but you'll wanna keep mixing this so it doesn't burn. Uh, that's super important. So we'll get that going. And then for our waffle mixture, this is super simple, you guys. If you have a high speed blender, uh, Vitamix, even uh, I think a food processor would work. What, uh, what you'll need for this recipe, two cups of milk. I have two cups of non-dairy milk. Uh, we have almond milk here. I have two cups of oats. And what I've done previously in this recipe, just trying things out, is I've done even one cup of oats with one cup of walnuts. And the blender was able to blend up the walnuts into a powder, so that worked out great. Yeah, so I have two cups of milk here. We have two cups of oats. I got about a heaping tablespoon of flaxseed. We got a tablespoon of cinnamon and about another tablespoon and half of hemp seeds. Like I said, I really don't. <laughs> I just kind of eyeball this recipe now because I know how to make it. I have a banana there. We're not gonna add that lemon in. I got a banana there and typically I would add in a bit of, uh, probably a handful of pitted dates, but I ran out of dates. So we're just gonna go with this for now, blend it up in the Vitamix. And then what I do is I usually wait a few minutes just for it to thicken and then we'll put it on the, the uh, griddle. All right, so here is the mixture. We are going to let this sit for about five minutes just to let it thicken. Let that flock seed work its way in there. It'll thicken up the mixture the longer that you let it sit. Look how beautiful this sauce is looking. All right, so we're going to turn the heat down now because it is 
brought to a boil. And we kind of want this sauce to thicken up a little bit. That looks beautiful though. The lighting's not quite right, but it looks really, really good. Okay, here is the waffle maker. It's already greased. So I'm just gonna take some of our batter here. I'm gonna do about a scoop of it. Place it on the griddle. It's nice and hot. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Just because we want a nice fluffy waffle for you guys. All right. So what I do is I usually let that cook just a little bit on there. And then what I do is I'll close it. You just want to close it lightly. And then this is where we watch the magic happen. Now, I just realized I don't have any coconut whip, coconut whipped cream, which is always so good on the waffles, or even yogurt would be really, really good. So I'm gonna improvise and whip up this coconut fat from this can of coconut milk. So let's scoop up this fat. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna whip this up and make a nice little whipped cream for our waffles. All right, our waffle should be done. I like mine a little bit crispy, so hopefully it's nice and crispy. Yeah, it's perfect. What I ended up doing was taking my coconut fat I whipped it up with some maple syrup and I put it in the freezer for a little bit just so it gets a little bit thickened and nice and chilled. And we'll show you what the end result looks like. All right, you guys, so let's top it off with some berries. We have our berry sauce here. Oh boy, that looks so good. More, more berries. Beautiful, look at that. You can add as much sauce as you like. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our coconut whipped cream. And this is, oh boy, look at that. That looks delightful. I can't wait to dig into this. And I hope you guys try this recipe. If you do, let me know how you like it. And if you want the waffle a bit sweeter, um, like I said, add in those pitted dates and the waffle will be sweet. But I think this is like just the sauce and the berries. It's sweet enough and really good for after workout. So I'm going to dig into this right now. All right, my friends, so I am pretty full after those waffles. They're really filling. I had two of them. So I think for dinner, we're gonna have something lighter and I think I'm gonna make some soup. So this is also out of my uh, Healthy Recipes ebook and it's very hearty. So we're gonna get right into it and then I think we're gonna end the day with a fire something really relaxing and I just love being outside because it's so nice here and I want to try to get out as much as possible so I'll try to film some of that for you and we'll just have a nice relaxing evening and let's get into the next meal. So what I got here is I chopped up a bunch of vegetables. We got some minced garlic, some chopped celery, onion, zucchini, carrot, potatoes, I got some soaked lentils here. They, I rinsed them really well. And I got my big pot there. We got some broth. Uh, the rest of the ingredients are in my uh, recipe ebook. But this is super hearty and filling. I added some 
uh, kale in there. I had some leftover broccoli, so I threw that in there too, which is awesome with soups. So I am going to enjoy this. And thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, be yourself, be getting in some whole healthy foods and some nature. When you do that, we'll be rising.